Hi everyone! I will present in this video the newton raphson method for extracting the implied volatility from option prices. In Black-Scholes model, the price of an option is a function of five variables. The current price of the underlying asset, the strike price, the risk-free interest rate, the time to maturity, and the volatility of the underlying assets. The chart on the right side shows the price of an European call option when changing the volatility or other parameters being fixed. The option price is strictly increasing with volatility. The volatility is not directly observable, but if we know the price of the option, we can determine the implied volatility. But there is no formula no closed form solution for the implied volatility of an option, so we need to apply a numerical method to estimate it from option prices. The objective is to find the volatility level so that the Black Scholes price is equal to the observed option price. So we want to find the root of the function Black Scholes price minus observed price. The newton raphson method is a simple algorithm to find the root of a function. x0 is our initial guess. Then, we approximate the function by its tangent line, and our new guess is the x-intercept of this line. And we do the same with this second guess, the third guess, and so on. We fix a tolerance level and we iterate the algorithm until the difference between two consecutive estimations is below this level. Here is a Python code with a generic newton raphson algorithm. The European call price is determined by the Black-Scholes formula. The newton raphson code for finding the root of a function is quite generic. The function has two arguments, the function f and the initial guess x0, and we approximate the derivative with finite difference. We apply it to find the root of the function black scholes call price minus target price. In our example, the convergence is very fast, with only three iterations to reach the convergence with a tolerance 10 to the power of minus 8. The method is derived from a simple second-order Taylor expansion of the function f around xn. After some rearrangements, we get the relationship between the root of the function and xn, and when neglecting the last term, we find our new estimation of the root from our previous guess. The convergence is quadratic, so it is quite fast. However, there are some drawbacks with this method. The convergence is not guaranteed, there can be problems when the derivative is close to zero, and the convergence can be slow near local maxima, minima, or in case of multiple roots. When a function is concave or convex, there is no problem of convergence for the algorithm. Going back to our Black-Scholes model, the option price is an increasing function with volatility with an upper and a lower limit. Here is an illustration of the price of the option as a function of volatility. We see that there is an inflection point, and it can be shown that the function is convex on the left of the inflection point and concave on the right. The inflection point having the following expression. Using the inflection point as our initial guess, we can find the volatility implied by the option price with the newton raphson algorithm, the series of consecutive estimations, sigma n, is monotonous. Here is an illustration. We start with the inflection point as initial guess. Our next guess is the x-intercept of the tangent, and we continue. The function is convex on the left of the inflection point, and the tangent is always below the function line, and we see that the series is monotonous, with sigma 0 higher than sigma 1, which is higher than sigma 2, etc. Here is the Python code of this algorithm. You find on the left the function to determine the inflection point, and on the right the newton raphson algorithm. It is no more generic. 
The derivative of the function is the Greek vega, which measures the option's sensitivity to implied volatility and is obtained with a closed-form expression. Thank you for your time.